I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's WMD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion, that's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 54 of our Pokemon Let's Go Master Trainer Quest. And guys, if you missed last episode, we did a few Master Trainer Battles, we did the Tangela Kangaskhan and Chansey. Master Trainer Battles, if you're interested in that, definitely check those out. Today we're going to be doing Golden, Horsey, Seedra, Sea King, and I believe it's Staryu and Star Me. Check my list here, it is. So we'll grab Staryu, put it on the team here. Now, we may do more than that, it just really depends on how long these Trainer Battles take. Also depends if we need to feed candies into uh, Pokemon, Those, that stuff takes a lot of time to do. Um, and if so, we'll go ahead and put the other uh, Pokemon in our team just in case. Uh, but the next two Pokemon would be Mr. Mime and Scyther. So we'll go ahead and throw them on the party. If it's really quick, bing, bang, boom, we'll go ahead and do uh, Mr. Mime and Scyther as well. Uh, let's see. You can replace Kangaskhan and Chansey. Now, last episode, I was feeling sick. My throat was very, 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 very sore. Felt a lot better today. Um, still not 100%, but I do feel a lot better than that day. So I definitely decided to record today. Because as I mentioned at the end of last episode, there was a chance. Um, a chancy, if you will. <laughs> terrible Pokemon pun. There'd be, there'd be a chance that today the compilation would go up um, instead of this episode. But that didn't happen because I am feeling better. Uh, let me grab the Master Trainer list here from Cerebi. And the first battle is going to be against Horsey. So let me find out where Horsey's located. Horsey is in Route 19 in the old water. They have Scold and Protect, 160 speed. Now, we're doing a stall set. We already have our moveset set up for Horsey and Goldeen, so we don't have to worry about that. We do have to set one up for Staryu when we get to that. Um, so, Horsey, what's your speed at? 154, so we're honestly not that far off, um, so we might as well just outspeed it real fast. 160, we just gotta go to 161. Um, but then for Seedra, we'll have to go ahead and do more uh, candies. We'll have to do, I would guess, like 50 more candies. So let's go ahead for now, let's give Horsey the uh, few speed candies it needs, and then we'll head on over to Route 19 for the Horsey battle. Um, I do think that there's a possibility, though, today, guys, that we do only, uh, we do get to do the Mr. Mime and Scyther battles as well. Um, that would be a grand total of eight battles, which is quite a bit, um, but at the very least, I'd like to get the six done, uh, or at the very least, find out if we can, um, beat them all. There might be one where, the, you know, like, Staryu maybe is very difficult and we can't beat Staryu. We'll just have to farm some candies for it or something and come back to it another time, but I do think we can beat it. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to Route 19. That's going to be by uh, Cinnabar Island, or between Cinnabar Island and Fuchsia City. At least I think it is. We're already by Fuchsia City as it is. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, let's just. We can, we can walk there um, real fast and just fly on down there. Uh, she's going to be in the water. Let me take a quick look at, uh, look at this picture here and see if I can't get a good idea. She's by some rocks. Uh, doesn't really give me a good idea at all, but of where she's actually located. So let's go, uh, hop on Sasuke's back here. Let's also move Horsey to the front of the party. So our strategy, as you guys saw there a second ago, we oh there it is. Let's say why aren't we flying? Um, is to use you know toxic and then protect, substitute, you know, substitute whatever. Just a good old stall set, nothing special. I believe yep, there she is right there. Perfect. And let's jump right into the action, guys, here with our Horsey Master Trainer battle. We outspeed him. We should have no problem beating this one. There is a possibility that they go ahead and protect first. Uh, but obviously their strategy is to hit Scald and burn us and then spam protect. We'll see what happens here. But I'm very confident that we can win this one. Uh, we are also running rest. So if we do get burnt, we could just go to sleep. So no, uh, no problem there. Now we don't have an offensive move. You know, I figured we just go full stall set, um, because when we go against Seedra, Seedra has Hyper Beam, 
And Hyper Beam only has so much PP, so our strategy is to just get Seeger to waste all the Hyper Beams we can get it to waste and just, you know, win with Toxic, no problem. Alright, so they're going for Scald here. That did a lot more damage than I honestly thought it would. Huh. What's their special attack stats? They don't have... They have 50 invested in special attack. Really? Wow. That's kind of nuts, actually. Uh... We're going to obviously protect here. I think we have enough HP to go ahead and substitute as well. I did not expect that damage. That makes me nervous for the Hyper Beam side, uh, Seedra, because they do have plus 200 in special attack. Um, okay. I think we can sub here. Because we have to use a fourth, right? And we're over a fourth. A fourth would be... 35, I think? Yeah, like close to 35, 36, if I'm doing my math right. So we'll, we'll live with like just a few HP here. Yeah, yeah, six. Goes for the old scold. It's gonna break the sub. But this way we can protect and then rest. Will that be enough though? I think it will be. I think it will be. But this makes me incredibly nervous for Seedra. We don't have any special defense candies at all. So that might be something we have to farm in the future. Yeah, we should be fine here. We're going to rest. Unless they get a crit, we should be fine. So outspeeding was actually very important for this battle. I was actually thinking it wouldn't be, but... I also didn't expect Skull to do damn near all our HP there. It did like two-thirds. Goes for Skull. Okay, so yeah, I did 90 damage. Ooh, we actually might lose. We are going to lose. Because we're not going to wake up in time... Wow. Interesting. So it's not very effective, Scald, but yet she did that much damage? Their special attack is 186. They are modest nature. With 50 AV and special attack, huh? Huh. Yeah, special defense is paper thin. And they have 120 in their special defense, so we can't do the same strategy than them. As them, not than them. Uh, What can we do differently? What can we do differently? Can we learn... Can we learn Light Screen? Is that a possibility? No, we, we can't. Hmm. What if we Outraged? What's their defense? 103. Our physical attack is 105, though. Not very strong. Uh, but Outrage would do a decent amount of damage, yeah? Is it worth it? We'd be able to get two attacks off before they get any attacks off on us. Although, we could try and go for a substitute turn one while they protect. That's another possibility. Hmm. And I'm looking at our, our level sets here. Nothing too crazy. Smoke screen is the only thing that jumps out to me. We could spam smoke screen. Give it a miss. Alright, so how about this? We'll, we'll try turn one substituting because last time uh, they turn one protected us. So that's what we're going to do. So here we go. Horsey battle once again. This time we're going to start with sub and let's see what happens here. We actually might just have to farm horsey candies, which I don't want to do. Or at least farm special defense candies for the battle with Horsey and Seedra. Um, if we were to do that, I'll look it up after this battle. I'll look up and see what we need to uh, grind for that. But uh, for now, let's start with Substitute. So they didn't, they didn't go for Protect, did they? They straight, straight up go for Scald, huh? Okay, so they go for protect. That's fine. Just add slightly out of order. We can now hit the sub. We're going to go for toxic. Then 
They're gonna break our sub. But now we can protect. Sub, protect. We may be able to do two subs. We'll see. We'll see how much HP we have remaining. Probably not, though. We might have to hope for the uh, the second, like, two protects in a row. We'll see. How much HP will we have after this? 40. Actually, we will have enough HP to do a fourth, or another uh, substitute. Yeah. But barely. Okay. So I think we have this one, then. Because we can protect, sub, uh, protect, and then rest if we need to. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to need to uh, protect... <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we're going we're going to go for sub. We have 2 HP. So yeah, then we just protect and we win, right? Yeah. So we win the battle. So Cedra is still a possibility because Cedra, even though it does have Hyper Beam, chances of it going for you know going for Hyper Beam first turn is pretty slim. And just like that, guys, we are the Horsey Master Trainer Master, <laughs> the Master. Um, but yeah, so there, Cedra could go for sub turn one or smoke screen turn one. Yeah, if they go sub, we might have to do another move just so we can break the sub, huh? Whoa, Tentacruel. Chill, 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 chill. Alright, so anyways, we'll worry about that when we get to it. Let's worry about Goldeen, which is in Route 12. So is Cedra, actually. Hmm. So is Staryu. No, no, sorry, that's Route 19. So Staryu's on this route then, huh? Let's go for Staryu next then. Um, so we're going to have to change our moveset. So Staryu... Could be a problem because we might have to raise our speed. What is their what is their star you have? The star you has try attack swift and light screen. Our star you is gonna have Thunderbolt, Toxic, Protect, and Sub. That speed it might be very important. Their their speed oh they don't have any speed investment though. Our speed Oh but their star me does. That's why I wrote down that I need uh, speed. So we might actually outspeed them already. So their speed's one forty five. Ours is two ten. Oh psh, we're good, man. In fact, I may have already fed speed candies into uh, Star you as we were grinding quick candies. And if so, shout outs to future, or actually not future, shout outs to past Mark Daniels. He's, 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 he's a smart guy, man. He's a smart guy. Okay. So then, what we all we need to do is give Star you its moveset, and then we'll go find uh, the Star you Master Trainer. And then, what we'll do, actually, eh. Nah, it's fine. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do the Gold Dean, and then we'll come back, evolve everybody, and then do this. I was thinking about. I was thinking about uh, evolving Horsey first and Cedra and uh, Goldeen are in the same route, but then I just have to like I would have to catch more chances to evolve uh, Goldeen later, so it wouldn't really matter. Anyways, uh, Star You, I'm getting slightly distracted. <laughs> What's new? All right, so recover is nice. Did we want recover? I, I don't think we did. Did we? No. Their Starmie is going to be really annoying because it has Minimize, and Light Screen, and Psy Wave. Okay, Thunderbolts. Sub, and then Protect, and then we're good to go. So another stall set, surprise, surprise. But at least this time we're running Thunderbolt, right? So we can actually do some major damage. Now, 
I could just spam Thunderbolt now and not worry about the Toxic. The special defense has plus 120 though. We could try that. Uh, so they are actually, it looks like they're on land. Are they all the way over here? They are, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so here we go, star you battle. Let's do it. So I'm thinking we just go for Thunderbolt and see what happens. Um, I don't know if we actually need the Toxic here. Uh, they have some HP investment. They have some special defense investment. They do have Light Scream, but we are we are faster. So uh, if we can get two Thunderbolts off before they get Light Scream, we might just win. Let's see what happens. So it's going to take three. Okay. But it goes for Light Scream. Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and Toxic on that note then. We'll Toxic and then we'll just, you know, Protect and all that fun stuff. So they're probably going to go for Try Attack, I'd imagine. Okay. So let's go ahead and Protect. Goes for try attack, of course it does. Let's go for sub. Go for another protect, and then next turn we should be able to Thunderbolt and finish it off. Oh yeah, definitely. So this battle was a bit easier than the horsey battle. Thank 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 goodness. But just like that guys, we are the Star You Master and our strength is the real deal as usual. You damn right it is. You damn right it is. And let's see, Star Me is in Route 25, okay. I'm not sure exactly which route that is. That might be... Actually, it looks like it might be by Celadon. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, we got a charge on the ear. Uh, let's go ahead and now fly towards Goldeen's Master Trainer, which is in Route 12. Route 12 should be south of Lavender Town, if I'm not mistaken. It definitely is. Here we go. So, Goldeen is pretty simple. Um, we're just going for Horn Drill. <laughs> Oko, baby, Oko. They have Agility, Headbutt, Poison Jab. I'm not super worried about what they got. I don't I don't really care. All we gotta do is hit a Horn Drill and we win, right? That's all that matters. Okay, so we gotta go down south here. Okay, let me go ahead and pop on top of Sasuke. And move Goldeen to the front of the party. And they're in the water. In Route 12, and it looks like it's on this side. There's Seedra's Master Trainer right there. Should be over here. Maybe not. Yep, there it is. Okay, perfect. So here we got. Here we go, guys. We have the Gold Dean Battle. Almost said here we guys. Here we guys go. Here we go, guys. Gold Dean Battle. Yvette. That's a cool name. Alright, so one more time. They have Agility, Headbutt, Poison Jab. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what they got. Unless they can Oko it. Well, they could Headbutt us and flinch us. It don't matter though. We'll just redo this battle over and over again until we hit a damn horn drill. And we outspeed them. And it's the first... Yes, see, that's what I'm talking about. The first attempt. Always feels so good. Feels so good. You know the drill... The strength is the real deal. I was going to say we're the Goldeen Master now. Uh, so you know the drill there. Very good. Uh, so next, uh, let's go ahead and evolve our Pokemon here. We'll go to uh, Cerulean City. Head on over. Is that a... Okay, just making sure it's not a shiny horsey. We still have our chain going with the Chansey. 
Haven't broke it yet, although I should have, maybe, because I have an update to get on my Nintendo Switch. Haven't done it yet. I refuse. I don't want to break my chain, man. Um, I'll get it eventually, because I also want to get some uh, some Smash Brothers updates that I need to get. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to play Smash Brothers and break my chain. Now, what kind of man would I be? Alright, so we're going to fly on over here. We probably only have to catch like one or two chances. I could grab another Joy-Con. It's all the way over there though by my entertainment center. I don't feel like grabbing it. Don't feel like grabbing it. Shiny Polywag. Alright, so here we go. Catch a couple chances real fast. Excuse me. don't have a lure going. We can pop a lure real fast. We have a bunch of them. We have a bunch of... <laughs> I forgot I bought a hundred of them. <clears throat> An Ultra Ball. An excellent throw. Ten thousand, okay. Uh didn't didn't level up anybody, but one more should do it if we get that much EXP. And then we'll have to buy a water stone as well. We might actually already have a water stone, I'll have to look. Yeah, I bought a bunch of stones back in the day. Ooh, praise it. Uh for, you know, playing ahead for, you know, Master Trainer battles and having to evolve Pokemon. Don't know if I have an extra Water Stone or not, though, but I might. That'll definitely level him up. Very good. Alright. My Joy-Con down so I actually push B because that's happened in the past. <laughs> that has happened in the past because I'm a dummy. Now their their seeking is max speed um, investment, so that could be a problem. <laughs> Although they have Skull Bash, Skull, and Protect. If we can live a Skull, we should be fine. Uh, all we're trying to do is hit Orange Drill anyway. Seedra, you guys already know my fears about Seedra. Their horsey did a lot of damage with Scald, so I'm kind of worried that their Hyper Beam is going to do a lot. We're going to have to use more Speed Candies on Seedra more than likely. Um, we only have to use like 50 of them though, so we should be fine. Okay, now let's see if we have a Water Stone, and if we do, we'll go ahead and rock and roll over to the next battle. Um, let's take a look. If not, we'll have to go to Celadon real fast. Uh, power up a Pocket. Nope, we don't. Uh, actually, while we're in there, though, we'll we pop an escape rope. And we'll fly to Celadon. Did she say PewDiePie? Actually, Route 25 is not by... Uh, did I say Victory Road? It's actually in Cer it's by Cerulean, so we should probably go there instead. Oh no, we have to evolve Star. We have to evolve Star either way, so never mind. Um, yeah, because it's up here, yeah. Alright, anyways, uh, Celadon. Starmie's gonna be annoying to battle against as well. But I think we could be Starmie pretty easy. Seeking is fine. Seedra, I'm worried about. Um, I'm going the wrong direction, lol. And then if we have time, like right now, we're, we're making some good time here. Um, I don't want to go any like longer than like 45 minutes today. So we're probably going to see how, where we're at once we're done with these other battles. But we might be able to get Mr. Mime and Scyther in. 
I mean, Scyther shouldn't be too tough. You know, they don't have any speed investment in their Scyther, so we don't have to, like, invest in that, so that won't take any time. Um, and then it's pretty much just going to be, like, wing attack, we win type of thing. Okay, so this isn't it. I don't remember which floor. Whoa, I already talked to you, Junior. And then as far as Mr. Mime goes, it's just going to be a stall out because they have Calm Mind. This is the second floor, right? We didn't skip a floor, did we? I could have swore that the stone, like, the evolutionary people were like... It might be this. Oh, he's not a salesman, is he? Might be this guy. It is, okay. Let's buy... Do we need more than one water stone? I don't know. We'll just buy one. I don't think we need him. Well, we do for Eevee. That's fine. We'll come back to it when we need it. Because when we do that, we'll have to get a Thunder and Firestone as well. Alright, so. We'll go ahead and pop over to... Do we want to do Cedar now? <sighs> Numerically, it's next. That's the one I'm not looking forward to, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do Cedar next. We'll do Cedar next. Um... We'll evolve Starmie once we get to uh, to Starmie's battle. And by evolve Starmie, we evolve into Starmie. Okay. So, Route 12, that's going to be, again, south of Lavender Town. We were just there a second ago where the Goldeen battle was at. We'll have to feed Horsey some candies. And by Horsey, I mean Cedra. I have to feed Cedra some candies. I'm not looking forward to this battle because their special attack is plus 200. Plus 200. Their special attack with our battle against Horsey was plus 50. I honestly think, guys, that we're going to have to farm special defense candies for this battle. But, I am willing to give it a shot because I think we can win. I think we have to get a little lucky. Depending on what kind of moves they go for. If they go like smoke screen turn one, best case scenario, honestly, best case scenario. Um, plus, they might substitute at some point, and then we can just spam our moves. We just have to outspeed their Cedra. That's the most important thing. Okay, so their Cedra is at 255, which they get to 256. Um, so let's see, quick candies. Let's see where we're at here. We're at 215. Uh, so we're, it's going to take us a minute here. Like I said, about 50. So a little bit, little bit under that. So we'll quickly get to 256, and then we'll jump into the battle. Like I said, if they go like turn one smoke screen, and then they go like substitute the next turn after that, like it's gonna be pretty easy for us. But <sighs> you know, no, I think we're, I think it's gonna be fine because they only get so many hyper beams. We toxic, and then we just win. Like I think that's just all we have to do. Because literally. They get what? It's five fiber beams because they don't get the PP ups, right? Yeah. So as long as we protect and substitute through all the hyper beams, which we can easily do because we outspeed them, this should be no problem. And they can smoke screen all day. I don't think we can. We can't miss a protector or sub. So like, we're good, man. I don't know why I'm so worried. I don't know why I'm so worried. Now if they turn one hyper beam us, <laughs> then we might have some problems. Because even if we survive, we won't be able to uh, substitute, like, ever. Because I'm pretty sure it's, if it doesn't knock us out, it'll be damn close. Alright. So we're at 256 now. Let's jump into it, guys. I think we got this. All we have to do is hope they don't do Hyper Beam Turn 1. If they don't Hyper Beam Turn 1, we got it. I'm pretty confident in that. Lucy, I'm home! All right. Damn it. That was absolute worst case scenario. How much is it doing? It's gonna knock us out, ain't it? Let's try this again. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. It's fine.
If they hyper beam us again, turn one, this time and just knock us out, there's a chance that it misses too. Then what we'll do is turn one, next battle we'll substitute or protect, and we'll just try to waste our hyper beams. They only get five. And then after that, they can smoke screen us, they can substitute all they want, they can't do nothing. Please don't hyper beam. Yes! That's actually fantastic for us. Okay. So now we just go for protect, sub, protect, sub, protect, sub, and we just win. Like, there's no way we lose. So there's one hyper beam, so there's four left. We're going for sub. Sub for sub. Goes for Hyper Beam, of course. Now, they have to recharge after this, too. So we can actually just go for Sub again. If we want to. <laughs> they even got a critical. So that's two down. They got three more. It doesn't matter because we win next turn. And uh, we can even just go for Protect. We did it. <laughs> Whew. All we, needed, all we needed for them to do is not to hit Hyper Beam turn one, and we had it. Easy. On to the next one. So the next one is going to be Goldeen. And sorry, by Goldeen I mean Seeking, which is in Route 13, so pretty close to where we're at already. I'm not going to lie though, I was nervous going into that one. But I think we had it either way. Because we either A, just make them waste all their Hyper Beams, or B, we get the Toxic off early like that and then we can just stall it out. Okay, so Route 13 should be down here. That Snorlax is still there. <laughs> I haven't ca I haven't caught it. I haven't worried about it. Uh, there's Goldeen. Uh, we're seeking, is it? Yeah, they're by a bunch of rocks. Okay. It's got to be down here, right? Yeah, there's. You can barely see it. Okay. All right, so this one should be pretty simple for us again. Uh, we're just horn drilling, baby. That's all we're doing. You know the drill. Um, they have Skull Bash, Skull, and Protect. They have a lot of speed, so they're going to outspeed us. No problem there. Um, Ariana. They have a lot of attack, physical attack. Not No special attack investment, so I'm not worried about dying turn one. They might go for Protect, which is annoying, but who cares. Horn Drill. Can we get another another one right off the bat, like we did with Goldeen? That'd be tremendous. Alright, so obviously that doesn't count, because they protected. And Skull Bash, they have to like wait a turn, so like it doesn't matter. Raise that defense too, I don't care. Yo, we did! <laughs> Yo, you know the drill. <laughs> What's funny is, so many times in these Master Trainer battles, we've gotten the Horn Drill on the first attempt. Like, crazy luck, man. Well, Seeking's done, guys, so all that's left now is Star Me. And let's see, we. about 30 minutes in. Okay, okay, a little over 30. Okay, okay. We, we probably have time to do Mr. Mime and Scythe. I think we do. So if, if that's the case, we, we've done a lot today, man. Hell yeah. Alright, so let's fly on over to Cerulean. We'll go uh, f fly on Sasuke, and then we'll, like I said, evolve Star Me when we get there. Uh, make sure we outspeed it. I think we do. I think I fed enough candies to outspeed Star uh, Star Me. At least I think I did. We'll see. Uh, Sasuke. Can we just like fly straight over this? No, that'd be too easy. They should be over here. Yep, there they are. Perfect. Alright, so let's uh, evolve. Whoa. 
Oh, she has a present for us. A stretchy spring. Thank you, Ruby. It's the thought that counts, you know. You know what? We haven't. Do I feel like I haven't done this in forever. I don't even know where my hands at. Thanks for the gift, Ruby. All right, so <laughs> let's evolve uh, Star You here. Double check to make sure we have speed, which we should. And again, their Star Me has minimized side wave and light screen. They have plus 200 in special D, and they have plus 200 HP, plus 80 in speed, but no pluses in any other stats. I honestly think that this is going to be an easy battle for us. We had Toxic, and I think we just we just stall them out, man. We're just good. We're good to go. They might go turn one uh, light screen, or they might go minimize. Either way, don't care. We'll just stall them out. I mean, we have Thunderbolt, but we'll just stall them out if we if we need to. Like it's it's cool, man. Uh, let's double check to make sure we have speed. Uh, their speed is 280. Our speed is 279. So we don't outspeed them, but he's got to feed a 2K in these, and we're good. So there's that. Uh, we'll feed it some, uh, some large candies, huh? Right, there we go, 281. Alright, so here we go, Starmie Battle Initiate. Again, they have Minimize, Side Wave, and Light Screen. Harrison. You know, it would be kind of cool. If, say, like, the Starmie uh, Master Trainer was, like, Misty, I think that'd be kind of neat. Maybe a missed opportunity there, I don't know. And then, say, like, you know, on you know Onyx, Brock would be the uh, the Master of Onyx, and then the Tennis Search would be, like, the Raichu Master, etc., etc. I think that would have been kind of cool, you know, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But I do think that would have been a, a nice little, uh, little thing there. I think they might go for Minimize. I'm thinking about going for sub. No, they go for side wave. Okay. How much is this going to do? Is it going to be enough to break? No. I mean, we'll protect and then Thunderbolt, I mean. So yeah, this is definitely a walk in the park. They, they obviously made some of these battles really easy compared to the other battles. But I'm curious to know why. Like, this person's supposed to be a Starmie master, and he knows that he's going to be battling against another Starmie. You know what I mean? Like, they know. So, like, you think that they would have at least, like, Thunderbolt <laughs> or something. I'm not complaining, but, I mean, I kind of am. Alright, so our sub goes away. We're gonna go for protect. They go for side wave, nothing happens. And then, quite simply, we win. That was really easy. A little too easy. Alright guys, so next is Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime's in Celadon City. Um, we do need to give him a move set here. Uh, same with Scyther. So let's see, Mr. Mime's move set. We gotta we gotta raise our speed too. What's his speed? Uh, we want to outspeed 232. Two thirty five. Shout out to uh, past Mark Daniels, he must have fed some candies into him at some point. Uh, when we were, like, catching Zubats or something. Okay, so in that case, we'll go ahead and give him his set. His set's going to be Taunt, Toxic, Seismic Toss, and Protect. So, why Taunt? I think it's because he has Calm Mind, isn't it? Do we even need Taunt? And he has Barrier? You know, honestly, I'd rather not even use Taunt. Because, if he spams Calm Mind, oh, because he can do a lot of damage. But it doesn't matter, though, because, like, we're going to outspeed him. Like, we can just protect, sub, protect, sub, and he just loses. So, like, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, we're not going to worry about it. So, we'll go sub instead. Uh, protect and then seismic toss. 
His max HP is 357, and we're going to be doing 70 damage to him, so you're looking at about a fifth. A little under a little under a fifth uh, is what we're going to be doing to his max HP, so keep that in mind. Uh, protect. And then Scyther's moveset, I don't think he had, he's doing a stall set. If I remember right, we're doing like Swords Dance and Wing Attack. Let me open it up real quick. It is... Swords Dance and Wing Attack, yeah, that's all we care about. And I didn't even write down his speed, so he must not have any speed investment. But we'll double check to make sure we outspeed him, though, for sure. Um, and the last one, Seismic Toss. <laughs> Where in Celadon City is it at? In a building? I'm not sure which building that is. That might be the, uh, the building that you get Eevee in the original games at. The one next to the Pokemart. Okay, so let me make sure we got everything we need for Scyther, too. Um, he just... He just wing attack and swords dance, right? And we have that already. Perfect. And we have agility and double team. Scyther's speed is 203. We're 224. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, we're good to go there. That should be an easy battle as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and fly on over to uh, Celadon City. It looks like they're in the uh, front part of the building, so like not through the back. I could be wrong though. They're by a couch. So they're by a green couch. Could be right down here. Perfect! Okay. So again, their moveset is Calm Mind, Barrier, Dazzling Gleam. Our strategy toxic and then just stall and we win. Should be an easy battle. <laughs> Mr. Mime's so goofy, dude. We missed. How much is this doing? If they go for uh, Dazzling Gleam, we're probably just going to run away. Because I don't think we can win at that point. Crap. Because now we're not, we're not going to be able to sub at all. So yeah, so let's go ahead and just run away. We're not going to win this one. I said this is going to be an easy battle and then we lose. <laughs> uh, if worst case scenario, we might have to go like uh, recover on Mr. Mime. Uh, I think he can learn recover in this game, right? I would imagine so. No, he can't. I mean, we can use rest. But I feel like that's a dangerous game. We can also go uh, light screen. We'll give it another shot. I didn't think they'd go dazzling, green, dazzling gleam right off the bat. I also didn't expect to miss our first toxic. So we'll give it another go here. Best taunt of all time. Alright, so this time we hit our Toxic, so that's good. Already a better start. Go for uh, Barrier, man. Yo, okay, so yeah, this one, we got this one in the bag. No problem here whatsoever. Uh, let's, let's just go for Protect. I, was, I thought about going for Sub, because they might go for Calm Mind. Uh, but I think they're going to go for Dazzling Gleam, so let's just go for Protect. Atan is so goofy, man. He goes for Barrier again. Absolute mad lad. I'm embarrassed we lost to him the first time. Well, let's just go for sub then, on that note. Uh, and again, our Seismitas could do a little under a fifth of their max HP. They go for Calm Mind, okay. Okay. Go for Protect. 
I may, I'm actually probably gonna go for Seismic Toss next turn. Since we have the sub up. No reason not to. And that actually, with between that and the poison, we should knock him out. Oh yeah, definitely. Because we're dancing clean, that's probably gonna break our sub. But that's okay. Because he's done, son. And just like that, we're the Mr. Mime Master. Hell, instead of Mr. Mime, we should be calling me Daddy Mime. Terrible. Anyways, we did it. Now, last but certainly not least will be Scyther. We already outspeed their Scyther. We already double-checked that. Um, again, our strategy is uh, Swords Dance, Wing Attack. They do have Roost, if I remember right. They have, let's take a look. So Scyther, Master Trainer, ch -ch -ch -ch. They have Swords Dance, Slash, and Roost. They do have max uh, defense investment and max attack investment. So, <clears throat> that Slash could do a lot of damage. Probably knock us out even. Especially if they get a crit. Um, so, I'm thinking they may go turn 1 Swords Dance and then Slash. I'm going to go turn 1 Swords Dance, turn 2 Wing Attack and see what happens. We might be able to knock them out in one hit. I don't know. Um, if not, they're probably going to maybe Roost. We'll see. This could be a tricky one, though. Uh, Scyther, where's he at? He's at uh, Routes. Is that 15? Yep, yeah, Route 15. That's going to be down here, right? Yeah. Right next to Fuchsia City. Did we, uh, did we already make it the front of the party? We did. Okay, good, good, good. Let's take a look and see where exactly he's at. He's inside the building. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think I remember, uh, remember ever seeing him on the outside here. So he's upstairs by the binoculars. Okay. So here we go. This could be a tricky one. Like I said, because if they go for Swords Dance and then Slash, it might knock us out. Um, they might go for Roost after we hit them once. If they do, then we have to play the guessing game. Are they going to Roost or are they going to attack us? So it could be a tricky one for us for sure. Uh, but either way, turn one, we're going to go ahead and Swords Dance. We do have Double Team. We could mess with as well if we wanted to. Don't really want to because I don't think we need to. Let's see what they do. So they also go for Swords Dance. I think we go for Wing Attack. I want to see how much it does. Um, they might go for Slash. Well, they might go for another Swords Dance. If they go for another Swords Dance, we should be able to win. Okay, so what do they go for here? They go for Slash. That did a lot, but it didn't knock us out, so we win. We have this one in the bag. Perfect. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And just like that, we're the Scyther Master, guys. Look at that. Very cool. Well, we got a lot accomplished, uh, guys. We did, what, seven Master Trainer battles? Because we did Horsey, Goldeen, Staryu, Starmie Seeking, and Seedra, and then Scyther, Mr. Monk. Hey, hold on. Six, seven. We did eight Master Trainer battles today. God dang. Makes up for the for only doing three last episode. Again, I was sick. And as you can hear, my, my throat, <clears throat> my voice is starting to go a little bit. My throat's, like I said, still a little sore. Um, but it's definitely a lot better than it was uh, two days ago when I recorded. Actually, I recorded yesterday, didn't I? That, of my recording. Yeah, I recorded yesterday um, during the day because I was going to record the night before. But that's when uh, I started getting sick. So yeah, yesterday's recording... It's definitely a lot better than yesterday. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels. And next episode, guys, is actually going to be the compilation. Um, it's going to be the next eight Pokemon or so. I'm not sure which ones they are off the top of my head. But you'll see it when you see it. And then after that, we'll continue forth. Um, we'll be looking forward to who's next. Who's next on our list? We have Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar, Pinsir, Tauros. We might see those five next episode, depending on um, how hard those battles are. Uh, Jinx might be really tough, too, to be honest. Um, after that, we might start uh, farming Magikarp candies. We'll see. We do have to farm a lot of Magikarp candies for the Magikarp and Gyarados battle. We might skip over that and do some more battles. We might have to farm Eevee candies at some point as well. 
um, for Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon battles. We'll see. Uh, but we're actually pretty dang close to being out of fact. Let's take a look. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, I guess we have like 21 more battles to go. Uh, but my list is definitely getting a lot smaller here. But anyways, guys, like I said, thank you for watching. And until next time, I am the Maverick Mark Daniels. Bidding you farewell, peace, and one love. Bye!